Welcome to video part two, where I am basically talking about how can I invest in property with a bad credit report. I did part one not so long ago, actually seven days ago, uh, which is a video that you can go and check it out. Uh, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about uh, how you can actually physically be able to invest, you know, and how can you be uh, the person who now can invest, but you're still in bad debt, right? I was able to do this for a few years whilst I was in bed debt myself. Uh, so it is things that I have walked through myself. Um, uh, so don't go out there and listen to people that have not been in bed debt before and have not built a business. And um, you think that they can teach you one or thing or two if they haven't done in anything in life, whatever that you're trying to do. Yeah. Um, Always look at people who have done it before and they've done it successfully. Those are the right people that can teach you. Uh, so in today's video, let's jump in and talk about this. I did say that this is video part two and uh, I want to dive in into it already and say to you, my friends, yes, it is possible for you to invest in real estate whilst you are blacklisted. The obvious answer is, <laughs> well, just invest cash, right? So if you do have a bit of cash, then you can invest. But what if you don't have the cash? So maybe we should be naming this video actually invest in how you can invest with cash even if you're blacklisted. That's kind of like super easy. You don't need nobody because you've got the cash yourself. But what about the person who doesn't have the cash? Like me, when I was stuck a couple of years ago, how best can you navigate this terrain? And that's what this video is all about. In the part one video, I spoke about how you can actually be able to see whether you're blacklisted, to see whether you get a bad, bad uh, credit report, and basically how you can navigate that to affirm it and also to get out of it. Um, my goal here is always to educate you so that you can be able to live the life that you want to live using real estate so welcome to part two so the first one that i want to ask to speak to here my friends is that we are going to be talking about um how best you can invest right so number one you can invest in deals but you need time i'm gonna say that again you need time so a lot of people come through and they want to invest in property and they just think that these things just happen how does it happen well the first thing when it happens is that you you must have time to invest and i want to almost uh, say to you guys when you're investing in real estate investing in real estate is so much easier there's another step that a lot of people forget, and that is investing in yourself. So I, d I do mention this word time, and I want to say to you guys, the first thing that I started doing back in the days was to make time available for me to learn. So make time available. If you're doing the same things that you were doing whilst you were in bed debt and now you're wanting to buy some real estate and you're still doing the same things, there is no way you are going to change because the same habits that you're doing back then, you're still doing them now. So something needs to change here. And the first thing that I want you to, to consciously recognize uh, from your subconscious is realize the fact that you need to make sure that in between where can you make the time? So some of you are already saying, ah, TJ, I don't have time. I already have a job. I've got kids. I've got this and this. My friends, you need to make the time. I'm not even talking time to do what? I'm just saying, can you create a minimum of 10 hours in your week? I remember when I was doing this, uh, in the right in the beginning, my week, I created around about 25 hours. I created run about 25 hours. So I'm going to show you where I created my 25 hours. So on a Saturday, I availed run about 10 hours on a Saturday. Yep. On a Saturday, I availed 10 hours and I said, this year, I am going to make sure that something is going to change. 
I woke up as if I was going to work and bingo, the end of the day, it was as if I was going to work. That was my 10 hours. My second 10 hours, yep, you've guessed right, it was a Sunday. So now I've got 20 hours. But guess what? I also availed another two hours in the week. How did I do that? I said to myself, 30 minutes on my lunch break at work, that gave me literally around about two and a half hours. Um, oh, sorry, that didn't give me two and a half. It is actually two and a half hours. Yeah, it gave me two and a half hours. Um, and then I also gave myself an hour to two hours after I have gotten home. So that's another five hours. So five hours plus another two and a half hours. I'm on seven hours, seven hours plus my 20 hours over the weekend. Bingo, I'm above my 25%. But I was chasing for 25 hours a week. So I avail myself. And then the question is, what are you going to do with that 25 hours? And you can do more than that. But I'm just saying 25 hours because I know Friday you want to chill. I know Sunday you want to go to church. So you can make sure that even if you're to get around about 30 hours in a week, you can still be able to do other things. So plus minus 20 hours is good. Now that you've got 20 hours of time in a week, what are you going to do with that time? And it brings me to point number two, which is that if you are to invest in property, you have to invest in yourself first before you invest in the property. So in this case, because you are investing in yourself first, I want to say to you that you need to have a new skill. So some of you are a doctor, some of you are an engineer, some of you are an accountant, some of you are a banker, whatever profession that you are in, you are going into a new space here. And this new space basically is real estate investing. That You know nothing about it. So I'm here to say to you that now what you now need to do is to start learning a specific skill. But remember, you do not have money. Remember, you are in bad debt. So how are you going to learn the skill? You don't have any money, so you know you, you can't come through to my programs, to any of my programs. You can't go to any other programs out there because obviously you don't have the money. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you here skills that you can already start applying even if you don't have money. I've always said, guys, this channel is about helping modern parents irrespective of where you are. And in this three-part three part video, I've decided to focus on those parents that are a little bit stuck. They have it in their heart to want to invest in real estate, but they are stuck and I'm helping. You are the guy that I'm helping out today. And in the next videos, we'll be talking totally to a different person. But today, I am helping you, the one who is stuck. Maybe you're in bad debt and you're like me, right? Back in the days. Um, and I'm sharing this with you because I've been able to do it. So, what is the skill that you need to learn? And the skill that you're needing to learn, my friend, is that uh, basically is now we're talking about how can you do this now? How can you do this? How can you do the skill? How can you do the actual investment? The first part is that we, we made we made sure that we availed the time, right? So the time is now available. And if you don't have the skill that we were talking about, and now I'm saying the skill that you now need to learn is, for instance, this is going to shock you. And because I know a lot of you, you look down on this profession. But it's going to shock you because I am going to drop it on you right now. Learn how to become an estate agent. <gasps> TJ, I want to invest in property. So why should I become an estate agent? My friends, you have no money. My friends, you are in bed there. My friend, you cannot afford to go to any other investment training out there. The only way you can remain close to the fire of investing is becoming an estate agent. Ah, TJ, now I'm going to sell properties. When am I going to become an, uh, an investor now? Whoa! You are missing the power of building your wealth which is 
understanding the process. You are after the glom, the glory of being an investor. You are after, I want to be a property mogul. You are after, it's the shiny object that you are after. If you are in it to be wanting to save your family, if you are in it to be making a profession out of it, if you are in it for the long haul so that you are building wealth along the way and you're building a business that's paying you, then looking at your circumstance today, I am saying to you, get closer to the fire by learning how to become an estate agent. It's for free. They may even pay you as well. Now, why am I saying that become an estate agent? The first thing is that you are going to learn how real estate works. Tick. What did I say? You are going to learn how real estate works without paying any money. Oh, TJ, so which estate agent can I go to now? There's plenty. Here is a tip. In your neighborhood, just walk around, drive around if you've got a car, and check the boards that you're seeing and approach them. When you approach them, tell them you're available. Tell them you want to be a part-time estate agent. Tell them you want to be a full-time estate agent. And they will obviously put you through a, an interview process, right? And if you pass that interview, bingo, you got yourself a job. There's different levels of being an estate agent all the way you become to become uh, um, a principal. That is if you want to become a principal. But the reason why I'm saying to you is, yeah, start by becoming an estate agent. Estate agent is going to give you three things. It's going to give you the ability to understand the process of deals. Do not forget the vision of you becoming an estate, uh, of you becoming an investor. But you have now the ability to understand the process. If you become a sales agent, you will be getting paid as and when the deals are happening. Oh, beautiful. You can use that money to go and sort out your credit reports. Okay? Then the third thing is that because you are in the deals, because you are in the deals, you got the sellers that are wanting to sell and not all the sales you are going to close, some you may not, and some will be very good deals and then you're going to come to a guy like me, TJ, and you're going to say, TJ, I've got this deal and bingo, I'm going to be buying from you all the time like how I buy from some of my estate agents. I've got a couple of estate agents that literally give me a deal every week and we are vetting with a per month and then we take the right one so they are closing a deal with me alone, without any other people. They're closing a deal or two deals in a month, right? Which is a good rate from an estate agent. They're making around about 6%. 6% of what? 6% of 2 million rand. 6% of 4 million rand. You do the maths from there and see how much money it is. Of course, some estate agents, they don't get the entire 6%. Uh, the, some get will, will get a 3% dependent on the estate agent that you're going to join. So, I am hoping you are seeing there where I am going with this. But that's the first thing, being an estate agent. You can also become what is called a sourcing agent. So what is a sourcing agent? I want to give an example here in relation to an estate agent. A sourcing agent is someone that looks for deals, ripe deals, and then they take them to the investor. So they are basically working for the investor. They get paid with the investor for sourcing these opportunities. An estate agent, an estate agent is the reverse of a sourcing agent. They work for the seller, so they get paid their money, their commission with the seller. And if you're buying a property, the tr traditional properties, you will see that in many, many uh, transactions, it will even say that there's a commission. The commission is going to be the estate agent. That's what an estate agent is. Now, if you are to become a sourcing agent, now there's so many opportunities that now comes by on how to become a, a, a sourcing agent. Firstly, you might be asking yourself now, TJ, where can I learn how to become a sourcing agent? Well, look around, right? There's so many schools. Um, even Jenna, she had a sourcing class. 
and you can jump into it i think she's got a couple of videos already where she, you can also learn how to become a sourcing agent um and um i i don't i don't train that anymore it's just time consuming for me uh but jenna she does have that so you're most welcome to jump in onto a channel uh, and learn from how to become a sourcing agent and if you are wanting to become a real hardcore sourcing agent speak to her she'll be able to help you out in the process however once you become a sourcing agent i was a sourcing agent for a period of time i still run a business that is sourcing and what i have seen is that not only am i in the deal just like an estate agent but i also start to see the cream of the deals right and when i start seeing the cream of the deals for some people some investors they want to invest with me now that's an opportunity for some investors they just want to invest and they want to me to manage i don't do management myself 100 percent but i've got other partners that do management so i pass it on to them and that's another skill that you can learn as well which is property management but the reason why i didn't speak about property management in the beginning is that maybe you may want to go and learn and there's a schools for that uh, so if you don't plug in into an estate agent that might be costly for you but if you do plug in into an estate agent you can learn that skill of property management without having to pay any money so my friends you can see here now that you don't need money to play in the real estate space all of this that i've spoken about it's all active so which means that the dream of you becoming an investor we have just put that dream aside for a little bit a year to two years three years i don't know how much debt you've got and now we are learning all of these things in an agency he said agent but we are not forgetting the dream and also whilst we are winning on these small deals on these big deals we are sorting out our credit and i don't want you to even leave your job you can do this in parallel of your job i know plenty of people that are doing this but you have to declare with your employer that you are doing this because if you don't when they find out you may get fired and i don't want you to do that remember on this channel we are all about helping you so that you can create passive income in the long run with real estate building real estate yeah that's our thing and if this is helpful to you and you haven't subscribed my friends i need you to subscribe because you can always come back and uh when we go live like this you will know because we'll uh the notification will come through to you but as i land the ship the airplane is now landing what is the other opportunities that you can now get out of this so we spoke about the estate agent we spoke about the sourcing and we spoke about the learning i do not know how to stress about the learning you gotta learn there is no way you can do this without the learning and the learning doesn't end i am still learning up until today just yesterday no not yesterday saturday i was in school the whole day and i passed um uh, this other exam that i was running on uh, we celebrated in my house in my household with my kids uh, and my wife and it's part of learning i haven't stopped learning i'm continually learning the more you learn the more you earn i keep on saying that to you so what are some of the other opportunities that are there i've already alluded to this the other opportunities that you can now get is that number one you now have an opportunity to meet other investors you now have another opportunities to meet very good deals you now have an opportunity to actually mine good deals you now have an opportunity to partner with bigger investors that are not wanting to play in the space that you are in but they are seeing the opportunity still you may have an opportunity where you are now making money and you can sort out your credit report and if you're focusing on it whatever you focus upon it can give you a very solid result which means that in the long run you can make it a good business in the long run you are no longer dependent upon your credit report only but 
you will also have cash where you can go in into the deals yourself. So if in your business you're making 10 grand, 50 grand, I don't know how much you're going to make, but whatever that you're going to be making, in the long run, it's still profit to you. Once you have sorted out your credit report and you've paid all of your debts, now you have cash on the table. The problem is that we want all of this done tomorrow. The problem is that we want all of this done to be done next week. There's a process. Follow the process. Right? And once you follow the process, make the money. When you make the money, build on it. When you build on it, that's where your empire is going to come in. My friends, I hope that this video has been able to help you. Uh, in my part three video, I am going to be talking about how can you make it a solid business. Today, I spoke about how you can invest so you can see here. And if I've missed something and you're getting confused, ask the question on the video. I'll answer you. I might not answer you immediately, but we will answer you. Um, and um, if Jenna is also not able to help you on this one, let me know. She does the training on the sourcing price. I don't. Um, it's just no longer worth my time anymore. Uh, because I've got people now that are investing in deals, bigger deals and things like that. Uh, so I have to choose. I sat down and I said to myself in the next year, what should I be focusing upon? And the focus now is just about people that uh, are building their businesses, right? And the sourcing part, it just, it, not that I don't love it, I do love it. I love teaching people, but I had to look at the bigger picture of where my business is. Uh, that, which is my personal business, right? My family business versus my spare time that I've created to teach others. And I've, and I've just realized that my, my time as I go along into the future is becoming less and less. Uh, so for, uh, where can I make a bigger impact? And I realize I've got a couple of guys that are already building their businesses and how can I help them to grow whilst I'm also growing? And um, hey, if you are investing in property, I am going to be taking in a number of people next year uh, and we're going to be doing um, an event soon uh, and if you are one of those people stay close to the channel we'll be telling you how best you can enroll and then thereafter next year we're just gonna smash it uh, I'm just thinking of how many people I can take for next year uh, so that we can be like diving into the detail walk with you for the whole year next year uh, and you can be like any of the other guys that I've been teaching who are building up their businesses. And uh, some of them, you have seen them here. But it's just amazing what these guys are doing. And you too can do the same uh, if you've got your own resources. But yeah, this is it. It is I, TJ. We'll check you out on the next video.